Janae back again with another YouTube video. I told y'all I was coming back. Y'all didn't expect it, but here I am. What's good, y'all? Alrighty, so for those of you who are new to my channel, welcome. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I hope that you plan to stay for a while. Um, that subscribe button, I get it wrong every time. So find that subscribe button. Go ahead and click that for me turn on those notifications so that you can be updated on when I am coming back with new videos. If you are not new to my channel, what's good y'all? Y'all already know the vibes, you know what it is. I'm being really silly tonight. But hey y'all, what's good? I hope that you guys have had an amazing week. It is only Tuesday for me. I don't know what day you're watching this, but it's Tuesday for me. We are a few days away from Christmas. I am a little bit excited. I'm not going to lie, just a little bit. Um, I'm going to insert my Christmas lights. Y'all gotta see my Christmas decorations. I'm gonna insert my little clip of my Christmas lights upstairs right here. I'm only gonna give y'all a little bit. I told y'all I was going to give y'all a full video of my Christmas decorations as part of my Vlogmas series, and I'm going to hold fast to that promise. Anywho, um, I decided that we are not yet coming to you with an explanation as to why I'm gone, but keep, keep, I'm telling y'all, stay updated on my page. I promise you it's coming. So anywho, um, today's video is going to be facts about me that y'all did not, absolutely did not ask me for. Y'all ain't asked me for none of these, but I'm going to give them to you anyway. I'm going to bless y'all anyway with these random facts about me that y'all didn't know about me just to get to know me a little bit better. These facts will help you to get to know a little bit more about me. And if you want me to get to know a little bit more about you, then all you got to do is click them links below in the description box. Then you get to connect to my social media, which my Twitter is with love Janae and my Instagram is at with love underscore Janae. Let's get connected. Let's get to know each other a bit better. Um, so anywho, let's not drag this on any longer. I'm going to give you some facts about me that you absolutely did not ask me for. All right, so fact number one, and yes, I did have to write them down because now that I'm 30, y'all, I turned 30 this year. That's why I gotta update y'all on my life. I turned 30 this year, but my memory, I'm not as sharp as I used to be. So um, fact number one, um, I love to write. Um, I just don't get a chance to do it as often as, I would like to, um, but I absolutely love to write. What do I love to write? I love to write poetry. Um, I love to low key write music, but I'm, I feel like I'm not really good at it. Um, but I do love to write music. I love to write poetry. And then I just like to write in general. Um, I like to write, not stories per se. It's more so like writing about my personal experiences. I love to write about things that are based on my life um so yeah I'm just a creative honestly I'm an all-around creative like my day job is a nurse or rather my night job because I work night shift is a nurse but overall like I'm a creative at heart I love doing all that creative stuff I love to paint I love to draw I love to do music stuff I love to do all of that stuff um, but you know, I got to pay my bills. So <laughs> I'm a nurse by trade, but everything else, like I'm a creative at heart. So fact number one is I'm a writer. I am. Um, fact number two that you absolutely did not ask me for, but I'm going to give it to you anyway. Um, I'm really good at estimating amounts of fluid. I'm aware that that is a super random fact, but that fact actually came to me while I was at work. Um, I am really good at estimating, like eyeballing amounts of fluid. I can just about guesstimate how much fluid is in a container or how much fluid has spilled onto the floor, or how much someone has, you know, expelled their bodily fluids. I know it's disgusting. I'm a nurse, again. I can just about estimate how much fluid you know is in or out 
I know, random. You didn't ask me for it, but I gave it to you anyway. Be blessed with it, okay? Be blessed, no ED. Anywho, um, fact number three. <laughs> fact number three. Um, I have 12 tattoos and counting. Yeah, your girl is tatty, baby. I have 12 tattoos. Um, five of my tattoos are typically visible at a given time. I can go into a whole explanation of all of my tattoos. You know what? We'll go into a whole nother explanation of all of my tattoos at another time. If you want that video, comment down below. I want to know all the meanings behind your tattoos. I will give y'all that. But the five that are that are usually visible are one, two, three, four, and I have one behind my ear that's visible. Um, in the summertime, I usually have about eight that are visible. So the five that I showed you, plus I have one that's right here. I have one that is on my shoulder and I have another one that is on my left shoulder. Um, I have 12 tattoos total and I will probably be getting some more. I'm not going to lie to y'all. I will more than likely be getting more tattoos, but right now we are at a 12. Um, fact number four that y'all did not ask me for. I wear a size 10 shoe. My feet are large, but I mean, I'm a big girl. Like I'm five foot seven. I am so-and-so pounds cause y'all don't need to know my weight, but um, I'm a big girl. I have size 10 feet. Um, and if you just so happen to want to bless me with some shoes, size 10, baby. Fact number five, um, I have a chronic pain condition. Not many people know about that. A lot of my friends who I went to college with know about it because I spent a lot of time in the ER for it. Um, and a lot of my close friends now know about it. I do have some random chronic pain condition. Um, I've gotten a few diagnoses for it, but honestly, when I be looking them up, they don't seem accurate. Um, and that's no shade to any of my doctors or anything. It's just they honestly can't figure out what's going on with me. Um, it's usually triggered by me being fatigued and by me being stressed out. And my body goes into hyperdrive where my body is just in pain and I have to take medicine for it. And I just kind of work with it. I kind of get used to it, honestly. Um, and just kind of hope for the best. I function with it pretty well. Um, I have my heating pads on deck. I have like three different heating pads because I be needing it, but I do have a chronic pain condition. So, um, when you hear me talk about my flares and stuff, usually I'm talking about my flares with my chronic pain condition, which we don't technically know what it is. Um, fact number six. I am double jointed and I am super flexible. It's disgusting, honestly. <laughs> it is disgusting how flexible I am. I am also not need. I'm so not need. I absolutely hate it. I think all of this stuff is uh is genetic though. My grandmother, God rest her soul, she was not need too. Um, I don't know how flexible she was, but I am double jointed and flexible. I used to be a tumbler. I used to be a cheerleader. I used to do all of that stuff. So I'm super flexible. Um, it's double jointed and yeah, it's weird. It's, it's weird to me personally. So um, next fact, I had braces for four years and I got them off this year. I know, I don't even know if y'all noticed that cause it's been a year since I've been on YouTube. I finally got my braces off this year, y'all. Um, I still am kind of like self-conscious about my smile though because I still have some more dental work that I need to get done and on top of that I want my teeth whitened um, but I finally did get my braces off this year I was super duper happy about that um, and I am no longer a brace face. I can smile freely. I can eat freely because if you have braces, you understand the struggle of eating with braces, man. You know how many times I broke my brackets on crab legs. Sick, sick. It was mental illness. I was out here cracking them brackets on crab legs for no reason, but I'm happy to have them off now. Um, I wear my retainers pretty much every night. I'm pretty faithful to my retainers because I don't ever want to have to get braces again. I did not 
enjoy having braces even though sometimes I do miss them you know I thought I was kind of cute with my braces so sometimes I do miss them but as far as like the pain of them and getting them things tightened and having to wear the rubber bands and all that that y'all can keep it I don't want to have to do that ever again period so um next random fact about me I can't whistle I be trying and I cannot whistle um, when I do whistle, I have to whistle backwards, if that makes sense. Like, I have to suck in the air instead of blowing out the air. I can't do either one right now. Sometimes, like, from time to time, I can occasionally whistle a little bit of a tune. But overall, I cannot whistle, baby. It's it's sad. But I be trying. I be trying. Um, next fact about me. Um, I honestly... If I was given the choice, I would quit my job to become a well-paid background singer, preferably for a gospel artist. But if I was well-paid, like really well-paid to sing background for an artist, and I've said this for years, I absolutely, I love to sing. I love, love, love to sing. Now, do I think that I have the best voice? Absolutely not. I think I said that in one of my old YouTube videos. Um, I don't think that I have the best voice. I just enjoy doing it. Um, I do sing on the praise team at my church and I be singing all around the house. I don't care. Shoot, it's just me and my cat in this crib, which is in this crib. So I be singing all around the house. I love, love, love to sing. But, um, you know, I think my voice is average at best, you know. Um, but if somebody were to walk up to me and be like, you want to sing background for a good amount of money better than what I'm getting paid now? absolutely i absolutely would in a heartbeat in a heartbeat <laughs> so um that's the other random fact um the next fact like i said i am a cat mom my little baby lucy is sleeping on this couch right now you can't even see her um but she heard me call her name <laughs> um but i've had my cat now for three years she is four years old now um i actually got my cat one of my friends um who got rest her soul my friend nicole came with me when i was considering i was going through a really bad bout of depression and um i was considering adopting a cat after i moved into my new place um because i had also just lost my cat that i grew up with angel like maybe maybe like four months before four or five months before that um so nicole came with me to the animal adoption agency and we saw a few other cats but lucy for whatever reason just kind of warmed up to me and i've had her ever since and now she is my little spoiled baby so i'm a cat mom i love being a cat mom cats are so low maintenance i am pro cats i know people be like i don't like cats they sneaky they they do what they want blah 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 and that's the reason why i love them cats do what they want and i do what i want so we relate on that level and cats are so low maintenance like i just be having to feed her give her water i clean her kitty litter box i bathe her and other than that she just be wanting some love and affection and that's about it i ain't gotta do all that like walking her outside and all that i ain't gotta do all that she's very low vagrant so i'm definitely a cat person um and the last fact about me um this year i recently got into mixing music um i am definitely a perfectionist i'm not going to lie about that i'm a huge perfectionist so i haven't like really released a lot of my mixes um but i have been working on you know my music mixing skills um i have a couple of clips on my tiktok and i did one mix for my mom for mother's day um but i've i've been enjoying it i just kind of do it for fun I have this weird thing where I'll like hear a song and that song reminds me of another song so I just kind of put them together even if they're in different keys but the melody reminds me of another song like I'll put the two and two together in my head so then because I heard it I had to put them together in the computer so it's fun it's a really really fun hobby that I do um and 
I love doing it. I am like considering getting a little bit more serious about it. We'll kind of see where it goes. Um, Cause obviously I'm in school and I'm working. So it's, it's a lot on my plate, but it's a great way for me to de-stress and I don't have to think about doing anything but concentrating on the music and because it is time consuming and because it takes a lot of focus i don't have to focus on anything else but mixing that music in the moment so that's why i love doing it so y'all may see a couple of mixes up on my youtube page at some point y'all may see a video of me mixing my music at some point. Y'all may see it, I don't know. My perfectionism may get in the way of me actually releasing it, but I might put some of it up. We'll see, we'll see how it goes. So those are my random facts that nobody, absolutely nobody asked me for. So <laughs> I hope you guys got to know me a little bit better, got to see a little bit of my personality. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead, like, comment for me. Again, if you want that video of me explaining all of my tattoos to you guys, comment down below. We want to see all your tattoos. We want to know what your tattoos are about. Go ahead, comment down below. Maybe I'll give you guys that video. Um, otherwise, thank you guys for checking out this video. As always, like, comment, subscribe, turn on notifications so that you can see when I'm coming back with videos. Thank you guys for checking out this video and I'll see you in the next one.